A list of uh, Pastor Ezekiel has really brought uh, Kenya into high temperatures. And of course, he is the pastor to New Life International Church. And today, we visit and see the premises, the place, so that we get to know and to understand the area better. Yeah. So as you can see on the video playing on your screen is an assistant pastor trying to talk to the congregants and of course they seems to be pissed off these are some of the congregants and the pastor trying to calm them down and uh, it seems they are not getting along well <laughs> serikali inafanya kazi yake kwa malezi si ndio tusilete shida yoyote najua unaumia ndani ya roho yako hata hata sisi hata sisi now the church is said to be sitting on a six acre piece of land yeah and it seems it's quite a big piece and of course it gets more bigger when you get into the premises as you see it has a 45000 seating capacity 45000 seating capacity that's slightly below uh, kasarani stadium seating capacity you know kasarani holds 60000 uh, seating capacity and this is the altar and of course it is decorated with a few international flags maybe to bring the sense of international kind of a thing of course these are some of the squatters of the people who works there and the church workers and this is the waiting bay of the sick those people that uh, come to the church sick this is the waiting bay you see they have some macheras there and of course you see the auditorium, the halls themselves, as they are empty, as the seats are not arranged. But when arranged, uh, this is the new look when the seats are arranged. So listening to... Now that it is open for you, you can be able to see that there are no graves around here. There is no mortuary also within this uh, headquarters. You can also see that uh, it's a transparent place. Yeah, so this is a restaurant where the congregants maybe have the uh, meals and you can see it's a really good one. Of course they have banking services so in case you need some cash you just have the services within the building and this is the look and of course there are a few waters and it seems they have an international school as well. So this is the premises from the view and uh, this is a development said to have taken part within a near one year one month ago this was nothing here one year one month ago there was nothing all this development has been done within one year that's where the money goes. that is why the jealousy that is why the envy that is why the distortion Yes, Pastor Ezekiel uh, is expected to appear before the court of law on Tuesday, 2nd May. And uh, it will be looking to... So these are the lawyers inspecting the, the area and the premises to see if they are the alleged mortuary or any other medical facility around... So listening of accountability 
of the sadaka that any uh, person gives. Amen. You can see sadaka imefanya nini. Now whatever is being done here is not for an, an individual's benefit. It is going to the core of society. So the lawyers uh, are very clear on their observations and they say the building and the premises and all these things have come about within one year in which uh, the said or the contributions may have come from Sandaka, that is the offerings, normal offerings, the tithing. And they also added that the development is not for personal benefit, rather is for the community or for the society. Um, we really wouldn't uh, support that or uh, work against it in regard that we have no proper documentation to, to certify that whatever is seen or as you can see the premises, the center, uh, we really don't have substantial evidence to, to give that it is not for personal, con uh, personal benefit. But uh, of course the facilities that are there wouldn't be for one person. But again the finances that are generated from the center, uh, we wouldn't substantially give a clear away or information about not being for a single person um, or for personal benefit. Yeah, these are some of the pictures of the vicinity from a distance. It's quite a big, big, big church and the massive de uh, infrastructure that is input here is of uh, of its own kind, ah, ni kazi mefanyika proper. It seems that he has a stylish uh, texture, or, but of course he has a, a luo, and in Kenya we believe luos have a refined texture. Uh, they, they are of a, of, of a certain standard. Kuna ile klasi yao yenye, they live by it on themselves. Yes, this is Prince Kid uh, uh, narrating, and of course this is Sprinker TV. Thank you guys for always keeping it here, subscribing, liking, and commenting. Uh, we don't take it for granted, and keep on subscribing. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, keep on subscribing, commenting. Of course, leaving your comment down below motivates me and my team to keep uh, producing more and more. Now, watch and look at this guys look at this wow 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 one of a kind international standard with even flags hey man anyway god bless much love